like this is the reality of vlogging in Cameroon or Africa in general guys some of the roads are not the best okay I'm actually going to school I have a meeting there with my staff so many of the times I usually don't have somebody filming me but today I have my nephew <laughs> anyway guys let's get started with today's video Jeudi et vendredi disponible. Les enseignants sont présentement en pleine formation. Ils ont commencé aujourd'hui. Okay. Donc, entre, il faut essayer. Si c'est que vous pouvez être là dans la semaine, donnez-moi un semaine un jour. Un jour bah, où vous êtes disponible. Vous, la conférence, habituelle. Ouais, habituelle. Formation okay. sur euh, harcèlement sexuel, tout, tout ce qui a ah. trait. La même chose, quoi. La même chose. Ah, d'accord. C'est mercredi. On va juste changer un peu le programme. C'est tout. Donc Alors, ça dépend voilà, vraiment de vous. Ok. Ok, ça marche. left school so I have to call my brother I actually called him already but I have to still call him so that we can I can hop in his car and then we can go we're actually waiting for somebody also anyway I'm just here honking hopefully my nephew is gonna come open the gate otherwise I will have to get out of the car and open the gate <laughs> anyway um school oh my god I don't know today I woke up I was really like you know like I didn't even sleep much guys I had a meeting and then I had to go to school and then after school and nothing ever works according to plan like nothing okay and if you just open the gate I'll catch you guys later so finally got in I'm just waiting for my brother to show up so that we can head to that location but anyway guys so 
today is it's one of those days where you wake up and you think your your day is going to go one way and it ends up being another way like i'm so i'm a bit down <laughs> i'm a bit down and this thing could have happened before i mean it did happen before where you go to school because school right now is like a construction zone right so it happened before where you're expecting builders to be there and they don't show up but i think it's just the fact that we one week away from school starting and the offices are not ready the restroom is not ready like it's like it stresses me out it stresses me out and i'm really somebody who doesn't like to stress over things but like i can't help it at this point like today has been a good day like it's not really raining raining like it's just been showering a little bit the reason why my hair is like you know acting up funny but anyway um yeah so i was expecting that at least they would show up one of the guy actually had the decency at least if you can call it like that he had the decency to call and say that um he ended up going to another gig right went to another gig he thought he was going to be done by 9 a.m but it looks like he's going to take longer keep in mind that he was already on schedule to work here today i mean like at school i mean that's what he's getting paid for and it doesn't matter how much you talk or how many times you repeat yourself they don't care they don't have this whole thing of like deadline they don't care they don't care they, i really feel like they don't care and this is this is always happening right i'm not just ranting because this is oh my god the first time this is always happening but when it's so close to to the date where school is supposed to start i just get really tense like so anyway <laughs> i'm trying to make this vlog better i'm trying to make it better but i think my brother is about to come because i told my nephew to stay by the by the gate so that he can open the gate to my brother but anyway um i'm trying to make this vlog fun better but guys it's not every day it's not every day is a good day okay you may wake up really happy and then one thing happening just it just mess up your mood so that's what's currently going on like we're seven days away less than seven days now like six days and some change away from school starting and i can't believe this guy didn't even show up today the sun is actually out now <laughs> that was not the intention this vlog was supposed to be fun but anyway i digress uh i'm gonna give you guys the update about what's going on and so forth gosh i feel like i kept i keep on talking and rambling Okay, so my brother just got here. And the other gentleman that we're supposed to meet is also here. Because we were supposed to meet here. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you later. I'm just looking at my brother getting in, you know. Anyway, I'll catch you later. And we're going to what's currently happening in the other side. Okay, bye. So after school, I went to this location where I had meetings with several people. Um, I actually made an entire video talking about people trying to steal my land. So if you guys haven't really watched that video, go ahead and watch it. I'm going to put the link in the description down below. Hey guys, welcome back to another day in my life. I'm at school. There's a lot going on today. I still have to head to the store because I have uh, a company that is showing up to do some marketing, advertising, all of these things. So I'm just going to show you what I'm doing here. The guys are working. They're doing, I mean, you guys know it's a construction zone here. They're still working on the restrooms. They're not done. I'm getting frustrated. Yesterday they were not here. <laughs> hey guys so i'm heading to the store um like i told you guys i have an entire team of people that i'm working with because i want to switch things a little bit um another thing maybe i need to have like a conversation with you guys because i've been thinking okay i've been thinking i've been doing this bridal business for the last five years it's been in the beginning it was tough but eventually it started working picking up and then 2022 things went south right so anyway i need to sit down with you guys and kind of explain to you where i'm at with the store um i'm not making sales online anymore i mean occasionally i do because i still have some people who may inquired but like 
on the regular i really don't so and i still have the website online even though you cannot make a purchase like if you want to purchase something you will need to kind of like email me or something so that's where i'm at when it comes to that um so yeah so i'm trying to change things a little bit do something different see if it's going to work see if maybe you know maybe i'm not advertising the way i want to another thing is that i also fired the girl who was acting as community manager you guys know i hired her recently i even talked about that right I talked about the fact that i'm looking for somebody blah 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 and i was going to test her out for three months the girl couldn't even make it for two months like after one month and some change i was like you know what nah like there's no point for me to hire you when i'm doing a job or when i'm spending energy and time and you know frustration in order to kind of tell you what to do with your job and it wasn't a matter of like she wasn't like you know you need time to get accustomed to the ways i'm doing things like no it was just a matter of she's not listening so if you tell her i need a flyer that's going to be out by next week and she's supposed to do it on canva she's not going to do it you know and then next week you'll be talking about it again and so forth and then at some point she would tell you oh i thought that was you know i thought it wasn't important i remember at some point i told her something and then she said oh i didn't think it was that important to do it now and I, i'm just looking at her like what you mean you didn't think it was that important anyway so there were things like that right and also when we had like photo shoot and stuff she would always be on her phone chit chatting with somebody that's not like come on anyway so i ended up firing her i think the last straw was just the fact that we had a meeting and she showed up but then she had other things to do so by the time i showed up she was gone and that was the last straw because i was like this is unacceptable and the fact that i went to the meeting and I was so busy that day, so busy, because after going to Buenamusaji for the meeting, I had to go now to Niala because I had, you know, other things to do there as well. And it, it was just annoying. Like, anyway, so I fired her. So anyway, um, let me just, I had my, let me show the people. Guys, I'm sure you guys are wondering, the hair do. I'm telling you, today it's raining, okay? I wasn't going to let my hair out, you know, whatever. Guys literally i just put my hair in a bun my um my headmistress at school she was like my headmistress at school was like she thought it was like a like a ponytail you know those fake ponytail she actually thought it was a ponytail that i just put on top because it's a bit it's a bit you know big <laughs> anyway this is where we got so i'm here with two interns you're gonna introduce yourself who are you how are you? Stephanie. <laughs> Minush. That's her nickname. You guys will call her Stephanie. That's my niece. That's my nephew. Anyway, look at look at what we got. Those donuts. Oh my god. Anyway, so those are my interns for today. And maybe for the next couple of weeks. I'll catch you guys later.
as you guys can see, it's already late. We went to Gassim Modern, got some food there. I wasn't gonna eat there at first, but I ended up eating because I was hungry. So I had some avocado salad. And if you need, got some burgers, okay? So I'm just dropping them off and then I'm going home. So that is it, you know? I just wanted to take you guys through my entire day of like, being a boss lady. <laughs> anyway guys, as usual, don't forget to like, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Yeah.